in EA's most recent patch, they actually patched the squad battles glitch. Do you remember the one where you could do a fake shot, fake shot again, you can just put your controller down, you're chilling? Well, in this video, I've actually managed to find myself a new squad battles glitch, which you can use on Xbox and PlayStation. Works pretty similar to the other glitch as well. Score your goals, do absolutely nothing. It's pretty good, to be honest. Let's get into it. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Oh, what is going on, lads? LE96, Lewis, how are you all doing? Hope you're doing well. In this video, it's going to be a post-con video, as you can tell by this little bit here. In the background, you're going to be seeing this new squad battles glitch. Now, lads, just before we get into this video, I am giving away 2,200 FIFA points over on my Twitter. However, I'm going to bring that giveaway over to YouTube as well. All you lads need to do is like this video and subscribe and then send me a picture on Twitter. Easy as that. Or you can send it me on Instagram as well. Either, either one, Twitter or Instagram, it's completely up to you. You, you'll get 2,200 FIFA points next week. Now, in this video, like I said, it's going to be a squad battles glitch, and this glitch works pretty similar to the previous glitches. Now, in the background, as you'll be able to see, I am playing on Legendary. Now, usually, when I'm showing these tutorials, I'll play against the worst opponent. However, as far as I'm aware, this actually works until ultimate difficulty, which is absolutely ridiculous. So, if that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. So, let's go for 10 likes on this video for this glitch. So, let's this glitch really, really isn't too hard to do. As you can see in the background, all I'm doing is scoring myself some goals and then that's pretty much all you need to do to start off with really so play on whatever difficulty you feel comfortable on now for me that's legendary I feel like that it's not too hard and you do actually get decent points from playing on legendary as well if you want to you can use this on world class or whatever difficulty however put it higher because you'll get more squad battles points now what you need to do is score yourself ideally five goals however I've just scored three for the sake of this tutorial then what you need to do is go over to the halfway line with your players hold lt or l2 and rt or r2 and then just run in a circle yeah <laughs> you just run in a circle that is pretty much this glitch now like i said this does actually work very very similar to the other glitch that we did actually have now with that other glitch you could just put your controller down which was the good thing with that however with this glitch the ai will not attack you it doesn't matter if they've got high press on doesn't matter if they do anything different if they've got like a sick team or whatever doesn't matter if you do this, you will not get pressed. Now, there is actually another glitch which you can use in squad battles as well. If you go into your box and start to do kick-ups, the AI, again, will not tackle you. I have honestly not a clue why that this is the case in FIFA 21, but this is actually working after the most recent patch which came out today. Now, like I said in a couple of videos ago, I prefer to do more trading stuff, so if you do enjoy that, make sure to subscribe for that. But every now and again, I will do some glitch content, and I thought that this glitch will actually get you pretty... Anyway, like I said, this glitch will actually get you pretty easy packs. So I thought it was worth making a video on, but let's just run through everything that you need to do. What you need to do, score five goals and keep possession, get corners, get all the stats up that you can do to get the max squad battles points. Then when you've done whatever it is that you need to do, whether that be objectives or whether it be the squad battles points or whatever your goal is, complete that. And then what you need to do is go over to the halfway line with absolutely any player, hold both of those triggers and then literally just turn it in a slow circle with your left thumb and that's pretty much it leds that really really is pretty much it now this video isn't a massive massive long video because it doesn't really need to be it's going to be a short video for today but let's i hope that you did enjoy this video if you did make sure to drop a like on this video if you want to see more stuff like this don't forget about my fifa points giveaway as well but let's this has been some glitches for squad battles that'll get you some easy coins and easy packs and easy rewards and to be honest, if there's a way to play on squad battles and make it easier for yourself, I don't really see the harm with it. It's such a boring game mode. It, uh, it's, it's honestly not that fun. So why not just go and use this glitch? Hopefully you lads did enjoy this video. If you did, please do drop a massive like on it. But it's 6, Lewis, and I am off. Goodbye.